Wallace, my boy, I've told you a thousand times not to come in when I'm working. I only wanted to show you my drawing, Daddy. Listen, I'm doing something very important. If I could manage to harness wasted energy, we could have an endless supply, which would enable millions of people... ...able to live in a better world. Yes, I know. Wallace, this time I really am serious, son. My theory is correct. I am able to absorb the energy from any living being through a light continuum. Not again, no! No, it's failed again. Wallace, son, I swear this is the last time. The last time you promise? It wasn't, it wasn't the last promise. time. My father didn't keep his promise. His dream never came true. His dream? I'll do it, Daddy. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. In the beginning. Why do you always have to arrive late, Alan? This is incredible. I've been working on my project. I'm really behind. Our relationship, if I can call it that, is really behind as well. <sighs> Look, Linda, I'm really sorry. Are you saying that because... Alan, I'm saying it for lots of reasons. For instance, yesterday you stood me up once again. There's always some excuse. Linda... My life is... Yes, I know. Very complicated. Only you're the one that complicates it. We can't go on like this. Linda, if you only knew... Mr. Crystal, are you not planning on joining us in class? This is just what you need. But it's such a lovely day. Yes, that's not funny, Mr. Crystal. And let me remind you that you still have to hand in that project which you didn't do on time. There's a good chance you won't even pass this year. Then your days won't be so lovely, young man. You're a disaster. Come on. Ah, no way. I don't think that's the answer. Mr. Morton, listen. The world of dreams is very complex. It's a type of altered reality. <laughs> no, it's the same story every day. You know I haven't managed to make contact. If you'll allow me, sir, we are just about to do so. But it's very complicated finding a logical route among so much fantasy. I'm not saying that because of you. Everyone's dreams are like that. The important thing is that we captured your memories. We just have to keep trying. My memory is a big nightmare. I need to find my father and get him to help me decipher the light coefficient. And now all I can remember is how much my father hated his discoveries. Like I said, the contacting the part is very complicated. It would be a whole lot better to do this in the present. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting and being a monster! Ah. I need to recreate the experiment ah. now! Mr. Morton, please, I beg you! Ah. Thanks, Mr. Morton. <laughs> How sweet. Watt is dreaming again. I think it's a pity he doesn't know that. Wake him up, will you? And tell him I need to see him urgently. Yes, sir. Yes. 
indicators show a sharp rise of... And now you know that Sid Network is looking for a fresh talent. Who will be the 21st Century's top film director? This is my big <laughs> chance. I can become the 21st Century's top <laughs> film director. I'll be a real artist, a world my star. That's it, Photon. Let's go and look for Alan's camera. <laughs> I take it you want to do the experiment again, but sir, mm. there is a risk that... It's not so complicated. All we have to do is recreate the process. I know that it's best for you, sir, but for that, we're going to need... The Invisible Man, that's right, and believe me, he won't say no. I only have to absorb all his energy. I'll be killing two birds with one stone. Now, go and get everything ready. <laughs> Mr. Morton, you said for me? Come in, Doc. Tonight, we are going to use your dream machine. No, oh, you had second thoughts. <laughs> okay, sir, tonight we're going to visit your father. No, Doc, you know what? I think you're gonna earn your money tonight. Yeah? You yourself said it was better to go towards the present. Tonight, I'll travel in my dreams to meet a very dear friend. Right, now, when I say now, blow a kiss to the camera, okay? Now! Uh... Fair time. Okay, what are you doing with my camera, and how come Photon is dressed as a girl? Alan, you're uh, home. I'm glad you're here. I'm shooting a video clip and... With my camera. Actually, <laughs> my third camera, after what happened to the others. It's because I need it for a film competition. And I need it for a project I'm working on, so give it here. Come on. But it's Sid Network. Huh? He's looking for new talent. That's gotta be me. I told you, I need that camera, Monty. Hey. That's it. And take those clothes off Photon. <laughs> he said to put up with enough. Yeah, Biggie. The director of the 21st century must learn how to manage all sorts of production hitches. I'll ask Mary for her camera. Last minute, as usual. Everything's ready now, Mr. Morton. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> oh. Mr. Crystal, huh? the crystal. Huh? If you carry uh, on, uh, carry on uh, like that, you'll never be allowed to be allowed to be again. again. Uh, 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 uh. Alan. Who's, who's, huh, huh? Linda, Linda, what's wrong? Linda, what's wrong? Linda, 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 wait, wait, it's wait, me, it's me. It's me. Uh, 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 uh. And with this map, this map, you'll be able to live a more normal, normal life. Normal life. <laughs> but, but, what's this, this? I can't I take, can't it, take off. it off. No, no, no. no. We are waiting for you, you invisible man. man. Huh? 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 <laughs> the 28th of April? <sighs> hey, good morning, Photon. Still stuffing yourself, huh? Where's Alan? Good morning, Gina. What day is today? Friday. No, I mean the date. It's the 28th of April, the day Linda has her photography exhibition. I knew it. Sorry, gotta go. I slept really badly. I, I have this funny feeling that... Well, I'll tell you later. Linda's going to be mad at you. Hey, Gina. Uh -huh. Has he gone yet? Gina, 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 would you like to be a megastar? Because I could make you one. Can I film you? I'm afraid not. See you, Monty. Photon, where are you? Photon, I got a new disguise for you. Mm. So, how did you sleep? Very peacefully. In the end, it was all a dream. A bad dream? For someone who lives in a world of nightmares, yes. But you know what I'm talking about. How'd you do it, Mr. Morton? Let's just say it was another one of my advances in the name of science. If you used your knowledge for the good of your fellow man... That's exactly how Magnapolitans see it, don't forget. But anyway, between you and me, it's boring. What do you want from me, Mr. Morton? I want to propose a deal. I'm planning to repeat the experiment. Are you talking about... Yes. The cause of your cruel transformation. And of yours. How is Opacus? You want the same thing as I do. You don't want to be what you are anymore. Your life has surely become more complicated than it ought to be after the sabotage, which, by the way, you caused. It was an accident. An accident that made you a freak. You can be a normal person again, if you want. How do I know it's not a trap? My word. <laughs> I didn't want to face up to it, but you know that I need you as well, Invisible. I'll be waiting eagerly for you tonight. Tonight? Well, I don't know if I can... Hesitate you may until you just can't bear it. Now, I know you'll come to me, and it'll be the last thing you do. 
<laughs> How can I trust him? If he's for real, I'd be crazy not to risk it. But on the other hand, he confronted me personally. That's strange. He's never done anything like that before. If it's a trap, then my life really is in danger. Oh, I have to prepare for the worst. Linda, I should have thought of this before. Linda, <clears throat> I have to go out tonight, and in fact, I may never be back. So I've been wanting to tell you something for a while. I'm the Invisible Man. Linda, there are three things you need to know. First of all, Wallace Morton is opacus. Secondly, it's time to tell the authorities about this, because finally, I, I'm no longer around, and it was Wallace Morton, alias opacus, who was responsible for my demise. It all started one autumn evening, not so long ago. By day, I was a student, and by night, I worked at Morton Corporation. One night, when I was taking a stack of old files down to the basement, I was passing the experiment section. <laughs> place I didn't like at all, but... <laughs> Where shall I take this monkey? To the secret laboratory, you know. Evening. Poor little monkey. I couldn't just stand there. I had to act quickly. I was unknowingly making my way into the darkest corners of Wallace Morton's domain. October 18th. I've inverted the proportion of incandescent energy through the luminous continuum. Transfer was successful at 99.8%. I'm about to succeed and go further than my father ever dared. Experiment time, 11.47 p.m. I'm about to absorb the energy from a living creature, but without harming a single molecule of its natural genetic structure. At the time, I had no idea what the experiment was all about. All I knew was that I had to save that little monkey. Fantastic! The experiment is ready to start. It will be a great day in the history of Magnopolis. <laughs> what? But who freed that damn monkey? Someone catch that monkey and find the intruder who set it free. No! Don't touch! No! The machine's out of control! So we must stop this! Yeah! Oh. At that moment, a two-way transfer of light and energy took place that changed Morton's life and mine. It was then that the inevitable happened. Wallace's experiment failed and my life changed completely from that moment on. In fact, I was born again that day, turned into a new being. Get the intruder! Oh, he's become invisible! How can he be? Just as Wallace Morton's thirst for power gave him a new evil personality, it had also turned him into an equally powerful being, an alter ego that I would later call I can see you clearly now. Invisible intruder, before you go, allow me to absorb your vital energy. What? My power doesn't work on you. Don't run away! There were two monsters that were born to confront each other. Two opposite poles that were joined by ties of blood. It was still to be decided which would be the hero. And which war! Nevertheless, someone, fate perhaps, decided our power should be forever in conflict. Our destinies would be perpetually entwined. And if Opacus achieves his goal, then I will never have the opportunity to tell you how much I love you. And how sorry I am for having made you suffer all this time. And all I hope is that everything will be solved tonight. Okay, Photon, I have to go out for a few hours. Be good, or else no cookies for you when I get back. Dear Linda, I know this sounds melodramatic, but if you haven't heard from me in the next 24 hours, you must go to my flat to find a video I've hidden under one of the couches. Your friend, Alan. Final round's about to begin. Goodbye, Linda. Initiation process activated. Let's go see the result. Mr. Morton, it... it wilted. Perfect. The process has worked. 
<laughs> Magnificent! It worked! Mr. Morton, I, I don't think it worked. Doc Genius, this is the result we wanted. Fool! You still haven't figured out what this game is all about, have you? I, I thought it was all about going back oh, yes. to... yes, and what for? I'll be able to absorb all the energy from his body. The Invisible Man will cease to exist, and I'll finally be able to use my new powers. After tonight, no one will be able to stop me. Of <laughs> course, Mr. Morton. And how could I have not realized it before? <laughs> now all we have to do is try it on a human. Come on, Doc. Please, Mr. Morton, not me. I'm still young. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must improve on this mechanical monstrosity. <laughs> Alan, you there? Hey, Photon, it looks like you're turning into an electronic doorman. Oh. I guess you want me to watch something, but there's no disc, Photon. Well, let's see what you want to show me. I'm not in the mood for family video right now. Linda, <clears throat> I have to go out tonight, and in fact, I might never be back. So I've been wanting to tell you something for a while. Uh -huh. I'm the Invisible Man. Linda, there are three things Wait, you need to on? know. And then the girl just disappeared without a trace. Wow, that's scary. You know those horror films, they give me nightmares. <laughs> yeah, me too. And, uh, uh -huh. and I'm your worst nightmare. Yeah! <laughs> Is that everything we solved tonight? Oh, Alan, if anything happens to the Invisible Man, then we're in danger, too. I have to tell the authorities everything I know. Okay, Photon, start that camera rolling. I'm Gina Bloom, and I want to set the record straight about the Invisible Man once and for all. He fights, uh, sorry, I mean he fought for justice, and this is how I know. The day I met Alan Crystal, alias the Invisible Man, was a day just like any other. Where are you, Alan? Are you avoiding me? I don't understand. What have I done? I noticed that there was something or someone, and I tried to make contact, but couldn't. Is anyone there? Are, are you a ghost? Hello? You there? Whoever you are, I can help you. Show yourself. No, uh, you can't help me. And I'm not a ghost, uh, either. That was my first contact with him. I didn't know what was happening, but at least I got a response. Hi, my name is Gina. What's yours? Mine? I don't uh, have a name anymore. I don't even exist. I can hear you. But you can't see me. I'm invisible. Invisible? How on earth is that possible? Bring your hand close to me. But, wow! Does your costume deflect light with micro mirrors? Or could it be that it has a system of sine curve diffraction cameras? Uh, well, actually, it's a little more complicated. I could really use some help. Can you keep a secret? I was touched. It was the first time anyone had confided in me, aside from the day before exams, that is. And that's when he told me every last detail of his incredible story. He started feeling better when we had listed all the advantages of being invisible. It could be very amusing at times, but Alan was too responsible to see only the funny side of things. He realized that he could use his invisibility to help people. And nobody would ever know it was him. We were looking for a costume that was fit for a superhero. Mm-mm. But we couldn't quite get it right, until... I'll always remember Parrish, especially that black dress you wore. Voila! It's perfect! To help Alan keep his true identity secret, I converted his old aero scooter. But the most important part was still to be worked out. Alan needed to recover his image as a normal person. His life had to continue as normally as his powers would allow. <laughs> Photon, don't be sad. Are you coming with me? Maybe we can find him from my laboratory. Hmm. To whom it may concern, in case we don't come back, use everything you find here to make sure that good triumphs over evil in Magnopolis. I see that in the end you've accepted my proposal. I had no other choice. I had to trust you. Your life as an invisible being must be an ordeal. Both of us are troubled. Both of us want to put an end to this, don't we, Mr. Morton? And I'm really honored by the trust you've shown me. What? Please accompany our guest. Already, Mr. Morton. <laughs> Let's finish this once and for all. <laughs> Alan! Mary's not home, so I really, really need your camera. <laughs> yes, Gina, thanks for convincing Alan. I'm gonna do my film and it'll be fantastic. I'm gonna win for sure now, a Monty Flips movie. My future Oscar nomination. Lights, camera, action! 
stupid boy. The experiment I carried out that fateful night will at last succeed. I shall surpass my father and succeed where he always failed. I could never trust you, Wallace. Never. We're joined by evil, and that's the way it must go. Maybe I'll never be able to change my destiny, but I'll never ever help you increase your power. I will always be the hero, even though you won't admit it. All I have to do is steal the energy from his body in order to be more powerful. Once we're done, that'll leave my enemy out of the game. That conversation I heard gave me the key to what you were after. And later, when Doc Genius was momentarily distracted, I inverted the direction of the energy flow between your booth and mine. So now, you'll be forced to either stop this fateful experiment or else be destroyed. Something's gone wrong! See you soon, Opacus! Don't run away, coward! Mr. Morton, are you all right? He's just a little bit tired. I can't stand this invisible man anymore. Come on, catch him! Don't let him escape! You hopeless bunch of idiots! Okay, great. Let's take another look at my masterpiece. After that, the seventh art will never be the same again. Money, wait! Oh, Alan, how fitting that you should be here to see the film I just shot. It's my greatest masterpiece, Venus Attacks. I hope you huh? like it. Uh, hey! Uh, what does this note mean? And what is that video I'm supposed to find here? Linda, um, I can explain. Alan, you're back, safe and sound. Yes, I am. And uh, give me that disc, Monty. No way! Oh. It's my you two camera. Are my children. No! Uh -huh. Well, what's the big deal? You uh. told me to watch it. Uh. Jealous? Huh? But. Ta da! Ta -da, 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 -da. <laughs> Monty's recorded all over it. Over the past three hours, I have made the film which is going to make me this century's top film director. It's great, Monty. I find it really avant-garde. This is the best thing I've ever seen in this style. Thank you, thank you very much. I can see that you recognize a genius when you see one. Now brace yourself, here comes the key scene. The Venusians invade the Earth. I used a scale model. Can't tell, can you? That's movie magic. <laughs> <laughs> there, the Venusians have won, and their victims have been turned into giant mummies. <laughs> A film by Money Flip. Ta da! And the Oscar goes to. I would like to thank my. That was it? The video I had to see no matter what? Um, yeah, isn't it great? Money's first film. Keep the Invisible Man's secret is safe for one more day. <laughs> but. What the huh? It looks uh, like uh, Ellen uh, and. Oh, uh, no, uh, that's Money stuff. Uh, huh? For your sake, Ellen, you better not have messed up my masterpiece. 